Welcome everyone, this is Psychic for Lovers, and we're going to match Gemini with every zodiac sign in a love reading. Let's see what's going on with Gemini and Aries in a love match. We have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. So what this tells me that in the past, one of y'all was the pursuer and you was pursuing the other person very strongly. But now I feel like y'all kind of disappointed in the relationship, it's not going so well. So I feel like one of y'all gonna to decide to start doing something different, like trying to make more money. And I feel like you're gonna venture out to do your own thing. And the next sign is, Taurus. So let's see what's going on with Gemini and Taurus in the love match. You have the chariot, the five of swords, and the sun. So what this tells me is that there's some conflict between y'all two. I feel like one want to go one way, the other one want to go another way. And I feel like this is bothering y'all because y'all can't compromise. But I feel like y'all going to learn some techniques and y'all going to end up compromising and things are going to get much better in your relationship and y'all be happier. Let's see what's going on with Gemini and Gemini in a love relationship. We have the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So what this tells me is that the female energy in this relationship, she's a business type woman, and I feel like she's extremely generous, but I feel like she feels like she's been taken for granted. So I feel like she's not happy about that. Let's see what our next sign is, and that is Cancer. So let's see what's going on with Gemini and Cancer in a love match. We have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Cups, and Judgment. So what I feel like there has been a lot of anger in this relationship for a while, and I feel like it's causing y'all to separate. But I feel like y'all miss each other a lot, but you know that this is for the best. The next sign is Leo. So let's see what's going on with Gemini and Leo in a love match. You have the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like the male energy in this relationship, he's an emotional man. And I feel like he ended up leaving. And I feel like y'all gonna start talking about this and seeing if y'all can work it out again. And y'all will. Let's see, the next sign is Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Gemini and Virgo in a love match. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Six of Pentacles. So what this tells me is that in the past, when y'all first started out, y'all didn't have any money and it was hard financially. But I feel like y'all became stronger together and now I feel like money is gonna be abundant and y'all gonna do well financially. Let's see, our next sign is Libra. Let's see how Gemini and Libra do in a love match. You have the Seven of Swords, the Moon, and Justice. I feel like in the past, one of y'all cheated, 
And I feel like it caused a lot of confusion, deception, and trust issues in this relationship. But I feel like that person who cheated is going to get their justice, their karma. Let's see what our next sign is. Scorpio. So let's see what's going on with Gemini and Scorpio in a love match. We have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this relationship got together very quickly, and now you have to second guess it and figure out what you really want. Because I feel like the next step, you think about the fantasy part of it, but you don't know if this is really going to work. The next sign is Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Gemini and Sagittarius in a love match. We have the Three of Cups. The Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. So what this tells me is that y'all two are very happy. You've been very happy for a while together. But I feel like the next level is marriage. And I feel like there's some stress and pressure on you to get married. And I feel like you will. Our next sign is Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Gemini and Capricorn in a love match. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. I feel like this relationship is based on financial. And I feel like y'all got together for financial reasons. And I feel like you're thinking about starting a new project together. But I feel like this project is not going to work out. The next sign is Aquarius. So let's see how Gemini and Aquarius do in a love match. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. I feel like when y'all met, this was a strong connection, and I feel like y'all felt like y'all were meant to be together. And I feel like the female energy in this relationship, she's financially secure and independent. And I feel like she doesn't spend enough time with each with you in this relationship, and that could cause a problem. Our next sign is Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Gemini and Pisces in a love match. We have the Eight of Cups, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Queen of Wands. So what this tells me is that this relationship has broken up a while back. And I feel like the female energy has moved on with her life and she's more independent and she got her own business going on. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos.